Experts studying meteorite find stunning object hidden inside. NASA and other scientists around the world are doing their part to learn more about our nearly infinite universe. Despite their expertise, however, they don't always recognize everything they find. In fact, one extraterrestrial object, recovered from a remote location, contained a shocking new discovery. It's very possible that the Katirka meteorite could transform what we know about outer space. Researchers could hardly believe their luck in actually locating the specimen. The circumference of the entire planet is just under 25,000 miles, which seems massive, and yet they stumbled upon one strange object. Getting to it was far from easy. In 2011, a meteorite named Katirka landed on the Koryak Mountains of eastern Siberia. While the landing site was incredibly remote, scientists were soon making their way to Russia to investigate. Given the fact that meteorites literally come from outer space, they almost always have scientific value. Each impact crater provides a new opportunity for discovery. It's like Christmas morning for an astronomer. But in this case, scientists didn't find any massive meteorites. They did manage to remove a few shards of interstellar material from the clay-like soil. Those pieces, however, still proved to be significant. Analysis showed that the shards consisted of a mineral containing isotopes of oxygen and other particles. The scientists weren't quite sure of what to make of this discovery, but they decided to press ahead with further testing. The old meteorites have been dated to over 4 billion years ago. Even the newest ones, which come from the moon, are around 3 billion years old. But the scientists would find something even more notable than the sample's age. Upon examining the ancient mineral, they noticed something structurally unusual. These samples were clearly different than what was normally found in a meteorite. There was a different shape under the microscope. They found crystals, and while you may think of crystals as something pretty to observe in a cave or add to an engagement ring, they're scientifically significant too. Crystals are defined by a regular, predictable atomic structure. Those lattice patterns are then repeated over and over creating the gas-like material that we are all familiar with. But this crystal was different. While the crystals within the meteorite had the traditional lattice structure, it didn't repeat in a consistent manner. Instead, the connections fell into uneven patterns, unlike anything found on Earth. Slowly, the scientists realized what they were seeing. This alien pattern had never been produced naturally, but it had been studied before things were starting to make sense. These were quasi-crystals. While they had been produced by scientists since the 1960s, they had never been found in nature. In fact, some researchers even doubted they could exist outside of the lab. Paul Steinhardt, a theoretical physicist and cosmologist at Princeton University, always believed that quasi-crystals could form naturally. He recognized this meteorite as a massive chance to confirm his hypothesis. He and his team looked at the particles in the crystal and noticed something bizarre. The ratio of oxygen isotopes to other isotopes was way off. Slowly, they realized what it meant. They were looking at a new mineral that was not from this planet. The crystals were created in the high-pressure environment of outer space, years before crashing down in Russia. The discovery proved Steinhardt partially right. While the quasi-crystals weren't formed on Earth, they were capable of existing in nature. It might not have been a full confirmation, but it was still a major scientific breakthrough. The finding is important evidence that quasi-crystals can form in nature under astrophysical conditions, he said and provides evidence that this phase of matter can remain stable over billions of years. But Steinhardt wasn't done. He and his team were able to recover a few more samples of the meteorite and find two additional examples of quasi-crystals. All the discoveries combined to prove a valuable lesson. It just goes to prove that there's always more we can discover about the universe we call home. And conclusions drawn from the Katirka discovery helped identify another mysterious substance. 
this object wasn't on the radar of NASA or any other scientific body. It was found by the least likely person. Dave Hole was no stranger to treasure hunting. In fact, walking through Maryboro Regional Park while searching for something special hidden beneath the soil was one of his favorite pastimes. But one day, he got in far deeper than he ever expected. In 2015, while going about his normal route, he happened on something that seemed incredibly promising, a large reddish rock that was surprisingly heavy. He didn't want to get his hopes up. He had suspicions as to what it was. Hole took what he thought was gold ore home and got to work trying to break it apart. He tried everything he could, but the thing was incredibly sturdy. He even hit it with a sledgehammer, which failed to scratch its surface. Stumped, Hole stored the rock in his home for the next four years, planning on one day getting all the gold out of it. It wasn't until 2019 that he stuck it in his backpack and marched over to the Melbourne Museum. There, Hole met geologist Dermot Henry, the person responsible for testing samples that people bring into the museum. In particular, a large part of his role involves examining possible meteorites to test their authenticity. Of course, testing the specimens was really more of a formality than anything. Even after working at the museum for 37 years and testing thousands of samples, only two of those had ever turned out to be real meteorites. This is why when Mr. Hole walked into his office and hoisted a large red rock out of his backpack, the scientist did a double take. This particular artifact was very promising, Henry thought. It had this sculpted, dimpled look to it, he remarked, that's formed when they come through the atmosphere. They are melting on the outside and the atmosphere sculpts them. Could it really be true that this was the genuine thing? Upon lifting the rock, Henry was even more encouraged. It was way heavier than it should have been for a normal rock found on Earth, especially considering its size. Generally speaking, meteorites tend to be heavier due to dense deposits of iron and nickel found inside of them. All signs were pointing to Mr. Hull's discovery being something very special indeed. Lo and behold, when the tests were completed, both Henry and Hole were left in absolute amazement. The red rock was a meteorite, and even more fascinating, it was an impressive 4.6 billion years old, which carries serious implications. The geologist cut out a cross-section of the meteorite with a very powerful tool known as a diamond saw. What they beheld was more awe-inspiring than almost anything the scientist had seen in his years of working. The cross-section revealed beautiful silver droplets inside. But not just any droplets. These had been formed billions of years ago, crystallized from the cloud of incredibly hot gas that formed our solar system as we know it. The name of the meteorite, Mr. Hole would soon learn, was H5 chondrite, and it had a highly interesting origin story, much more intriguing than any gold deposit could have ever hoped to be. See, 4.6 billion years ago, the universe was much different than it is today. It was comprised of tons of these same rocks, chondrite, orbiting around the sun. Looking at this meteorite was almost like looking at the origins of life itself. Eventually, these chunks of chondrite would cluster together, forming Earth as well as the other rocky planets. However, some of the fascinating material was still left over. The majority of the remaining chondrite now sits in the belt between Jupiter and Mars. Every now and then, two pieces of it will collide, leading to a one-of-a-kind event. When this celestial collision happens, the impact sends shards of the otherworldly rock hurtling towards Earth. This is how the piece of chondrite that was eventually discovered by Mr. Hole began its journey. Due to the lack of weathering, it's likely that this specific piece had only been on Earth for less than 200 years. This makes it likely that someone had actually seen it fall. Sure enough, a look at local newspaper records from the time almost confirm this theory, as residents of Maryboro in the 1950s report having seen balls of fire shooting across the night sky. 